Hello everyone, welcome to my channel NCRT Mathematics Learning Hub. In this video, I am going to teach you how to find the coordinate of the three points if the given line is divided into four equal parts. Okay, so this is the uh, ninth question of exercise 7.2 and uh, the question is written here. Find the coordinate of the points which divide the line segment joining these two points A and B into four equal parts. So this line has been divided into four equal parts. Okay, I'll just divide this line into equal equally. So here and then if I want to divide this part again into two because there are total four parts again this line has to be divided into two part. Right. So let me just write here P1. Let me write here P2. Let me write here P3. Okay. So now there are two methods to solve this problem. Uh, I have discussed earlier also uh, this kind of problem where the ratio is not being given to you directly, but you can find out. So if I am using the section formula to solve this problem, then if I am finding the value of P1, I want to find the coordinate of P1, then I have to, I should have the ratio also. So here uh, the ratio will be from A to P1, it will be 1 and from P1 to P, it will be 3. So ratio will be M1 will be 1, M2 will be 3, right? If I am using section formula, right? In the same way, you will go for all these and find the ratios and you will be finding the value of all these coordinate. But uh, better than that, I can use the midpoint formula also, right? So you can use section formula or you can use the midpoint formula, anyone, right? So in this video, I will teach you this problem by using the midpoint formula. So you can observe here, P2 is the midpoint of B, A and B, right? We just divided this line into equal half, then we have divided this line in again into equal half, then I have divided this line into equal half, right? So P2 is the midpoint of A and B. Right. So let me just write here. I am going to find the point P2. So I am writing here P2 x comma y. I am going to use distance uh, midpoint formula. So it is nothing but x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by Right. So we need to just substitute the values here. If I am talking about uh, these two points, then let me just draw one more time A and B. If I am talking about the point A and B, then here it will be minus 2 comma 2 and here it will be 2 comma 8. Right. So this will be your x1 y1. This will be your x2 y2. Right. So let me just substitute everything here. Minus 2 plus 2 divided by 2 comma. Then you will be having y coordinate. That is nothing but 2 plus 8 divided by 2. Right. So minus 2 and plus 2 it will become 0 divided by 2 comma. 2 plus 8 is 10 divided by 2. Right. So what are you going to have? 0 by anything is always 0. And 10 by 2 is nothing but 5. So this is the coordinate you have got for point P1, right? So you got the point P1, uh, sorry, P2, not P1, because P2 is the midpoint of line AB, right? So you got the coordinate of P2. That is nothing but 0, 5, right? So you have found the coordinate of point uh, P2. Now, to find the coordinate of point P1, you can observe P1 is the midpoint of the line A and P2, right? So I will draw a line A and P2, right? So you can observe this is the midpoint. P1 is the midpoint of that. So what is the coordinate of this A? It is nothing but minus 2 comma 2 and P2 just now you have calculated it is nothing but 0 comma Five. Now you need to find the coordinate of this. So let it be x1, y1. Let this be x2, y2. Right. So let me write here 
P1 of x comma y is equals to again you need to write the formula I have written here so I'll just substitute directly so x1 right so minus 2 plus 0 divided by 2 comma 2 plus 5 divided by 2 then what are you going to have minus 2 plus 0 any number added with 0 or subtracted with 0 with the will be always the same number so minus 2 by 2 and here 2 plus 5 is nothing but 7 by 2 so what are you going to have then minus 2 by 2 is nothing but 2 ones are 2 ones that it will get cancelled you are going to have there minus 1 comma 7 by 2 so this is the coordinate of the point p1 right and don't get confused here 2 and 2 will get cancelled so you don't write here 0 because uh, you it is nothing but you are cancelling it out with the table 2 so 2 ones are here it will be 1 1 by 1 which is nothing but 1 here and here it is minus so you have written here also minus now we got to know the point p1 we got to know the point p2 now we'll come to point p3 now you can observe here P3 is the midpoint of P2 and B. Right? So P2 and B. Right? So P, you, you have written here the coordinates separately. Let us write. So P2 just now you, uh, we have found it out. It is 0, 5. And B we have already the coordinates 2, 8. Right? So we will substitute this now. What, what is this point? This is P3. X comma Y is equals to. Again X1 plus X2. Right. So 0 plus 2. Divided by 2. Comma. 5 plus 8. Divided by 2. Right. So let me just draw a line here. So 0 plus 2, what are you going to get? 0 added with 2, you will be getting the same number. That is 2 by 2, comma 5 plus 8 is 13 divided by 2. Right? So 2 ones are, 2 ones are, it will get cancelled. So what are you going to have? 1 comma 13 divided by 2. So what are the coordinates of P1, P2 and P3? The coordinates... Of the three points, points dividing the given line is not is R P one we have got minus one comma seven by two. P2 we have got uh, 0, 0,5 and, and P3 we have 1, 13 by 7. Sorry, 13 by 2. So that's it for today's video. In the next video, I am going to discuss with you a very, very important question that is how to find the area of the triangle when the three vertices of the triangle is given to you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon.